G'day and welcome legends to the Crew Motorfest Drift Tutorial. In this tutorial I aim to take you from being someone who is struggling to drift, wiping out of the turns, not understanding what to do, to being an absolute drift god to impress your friends, show some cool edits on Instagram and Reels and whatever else, and yeah, slay man. This tutorial is going to feature my RX-7, my pride, my beauty, my baby. <laughs> it's going to apply to any rear wheel drive car though, and you'll have detailed customization and tuning options as well. Drifting is a driving technique where the driver intentionally oversteers with lost attraction while maintaining control and driving the car through the entirety of the corner. And with that, let's get pumped and jump into our car. Donuts. The bigger the area you can start this on, the easier it is to learn. So as you turn in the direction you want, get off the throttle, get back on again. You've got to catch the steering with how quickly the, the back end of the car pivots, and that's when you get back on the throttle. So the more throttle you have, the bigger area you can control, but the less throttle, the tighter you can go. You throttle out, steer out, just keep correcting. Okay, so we use this in a couple ways. One is to get into tighter turns. The one I use it for is to wash off way too much speed. We're doing like 170 k's here, and the ideal drift speed for this one is about 80 k's. All you gotta do is come in like you're doing a donut, except you wanna tap the handbrake and then point the nose right at the apex of the corner you're going around. Slide in, you feel the car slot in like that. It's just a matter of stabilizing with the throttle and steering corrections. Same as doing a normal donut, boys. That's it. Brake pulsing. Use this technique when you commit to the slide like this, and then tap, tap on the brake to slow you down. You use this while you're already committed in a high speed drift instead of using a handbrake entry, basically. So watch the taillights on this, ready? Tap, tap, see so the car settles itself again, and you've washed off a good amount of speed. Figure eight, okay. So it's the same technique as a donut drift, okay? All you gotta do, when you get around, you stabilize the car, car's running smooth, you can sight the crossover. Off the throttle, back on the throttle. Then you catch it again. It's exactly the same as doing a donut, boys. Exactly the same. The only thing is you've got to learn when to get off the throttle, to cross back over. So you've got to cross here, off, and back on again. Simple as that. The main thing is, man, honestly, you just use getting used to the throttle and the steering. Because you want to over counter to be able to really turn it in hard. Like, boom, slow back in. Easy peasy, jap and easy. Okay, so this is the exact reason we practice figure eights. It's a little bit high speed, exact same principle. But, pay attention to this last corner. Hmm. What was that sneaky little devil, huh? Okay, so we use this technique. When we come into the corner, we don't have enough speed to get around it. What do we do? Grab a whole fistful of handbrake, tap the brake as well, and it'll push us into a slide. So essentially all it's doing really is if we misjudge the angle or how much speed we have, we didn't have enough, we can still float around the corner, miss the apex, and still perform a drift. Here's a nice little quick one. Drift extension. Now we're getting to the tricky stuff. 360 drift, drift entry. To initiate it, you're going to do the on-off method or a handbrake tap. As you get to this point, get off the throttle. Counter steer the other way, then counter steer again in the other way, and then back on the throttle. Is a real world example? Now you can do this if you want to do it the opposite way. It'd be actually a 270 entry. Pretty sick, but I think I prefer the 360. Right, so these look absolutely wild. Hold the handbrake, steer it while you have the handbrake on. That's the key. Hold the handbrake. Keep on steering in. Midway through the hold of the handbrake, get on the throttle, then let it out. Doesn't look like much, but if you look in a replay, looks freaking sick. 
Control settings, not a lot really. Just to put it in manual. Dead zones, when I adjust them down a little bit. I forgot to show you them, sorry. Freaking hell. But um, yeah, aids off. Pro settings, so you want the rear tires as hard as you can get them. You want to break, put the brake bias to the front. That helps the front bite into corners a bit more. You pretty much want to make the car stiff. That's the best way I could really describe it. Stiff is better for drifting. And the camber. A little bit of rear camber on that, see that? Very nice. And with that, that concludes the tutorial, guys. Please consider a like and a sub, and um, yeah, hope I helped.